Well, kids' sports leagues are slowly starting to reopen after being sidelined for months, of course, because of the pandemic. High fives, though, have been replaced by squirts of hand sanitizer. Small group practices and X's now mark the field. For months, kids have attempted to do everything from lacrosse, gymnastics, football, even soccer virtually. But those online Zoom sessions are taking a toll on some players. What have been some of the most struggling parts? They want to be with their teammates, they want to score goals, they want to run around. Here you go, get low, get low. Bob Westbrook says he has been forced to cancel international and domestic tournaments for the 1,000 players registered at the A5 Volleyball Club in Atlanta. He says technology can't replace team building and bonding. For athletes and people that play the game or this game or any game, um, it, it's like a a black hole. It's a void in your life that you can't find an outlet from. Youth sports in the U.S. generates more than $19.2 billion each year. Billions more than the NFL and more than double the revenue of the NBA. Just three months into COVID-19 shutdowns, sports clubs nationwide have seen $8.5 billion wiped out. I'm concerned that we will not have enough players to uh, to continue to employ all our coaches if this lasts longer and longer. We're getting ready to pass out uh, several hundred thousand dollars in refunds. We're, we think we're going to make it, right? But there'll be a lot of clubs that will not. As games resume, gone are the days of high fives, replaced now by regular temperature checks. And then we only have four athletes and a, a coach at a time on the floor together. Little League Baseball will likely have exits painted six feet apart in the gravel. Each player issued their own bat and helmet, and dugouts likely closed for the season. There's no hugs or high fives. Not having players touch the cones, you know, washing balls, bibs.